Is your brother gay? You know, you are so just, you, you are so blunt. And very, you're just I'm right just to the good, point. Latoya. I'm you can, just you good. Can oh, yeah, she went there. Blunt and to the point. 90s daytime talk show host Rolanda Watts showcased her fiery personality for four seasons. But in 1997, she decided to drop out of daytime rather than go the whole Jerry Springer route. That is true, and she has no regrets. Now, 18 years later, Ro is looking back on the moments that defined her show. From LaToya Jackson to James Brown's on-air proposal. That's right, you heard me right. Tonight, my Queens of Talk series continues with the Spitfire, that is Rolanda Watts. Check roll out, Rolanda. You became known as the cut to the chase talk show host. Yeah. You know, lots of people interview me and you're the only one. You just get right to the point. I you're cut right to the chase. Were you doing that to get the ratings or were you doing that because that's just well, who that's you who are? I am. It has been a grueling day for jurors in the Bensonhurst murder trial. Before talk, the North Carolina born journalist was a New York City news anchor and resistant to move to talk. That is, until syndicated giant Roger King, the man behind King World and some of the biggest shows on television, plucked her out of the number one news market. The most sellingest man in television history ever. Can you say Wheel of Fortune? Jeopardy, Oprah Winfrey. Mm -hmm. It doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. And she didn't stop. As I learned visiting Rolanda's Hollywood Hills home, there was always a delicate balance between telling compelling stories and the day-to-day -day surprises on her set. Yeah. Show me how to do that. James Brown, who, who, by the way, asked you to marry him. Asked me to marry him. Can you please live? clarify? Girl, we made the New York Times. Nothing I've ever done in life made that much attention. God bless y'all, thank you. Uh, during the taping of her show, the late godfather of soul phoned in. Hey, baby, you're James Brown. I know we living in America and everything, but Will you marry me? And the crowd, I remember the roar. They did not stop for five minutes. For Roe, it was all about moments, including having Bill Cosby on her stage. I expect to see Andy Griffith. No, no! His brother came on to admit he didn't learn to read until he was 50-something years old. And Bill Cosby apologized to him for calling him stupid all his life. Does he pick on you a lot like that? Just a little bit. What do you think of all the allegations that have surfaced. I just feel so sorry. I'm so sorry that something like this happens to somebody who well, What you would do. you ask him if he was in front of you? That man that you interviewed is much different than the man that is being portrayed at times. I would like. ask him, who in the world did you piss off? Because you were about to get a real big show at NBC, the same network you were threatening to buy a while ago. I am sitting here on Sundays with Rolanda. Rolanda's now forging a new chapter, taking to radio to entertain. But she's not ruling out another crack at TV talk. Well, would you go back? Absolutely. Ro is so much fun. I love that lady.